He's good. Half he's the best. All right, the PC police are at it again. Facebook blocking Fox News Radio's Todd Starnes for posting this message on his fan page. It read, I'm about as politically incorrect as you can get. I'm wearing an NRA ball cap, eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich, reading a Paula Deen cookbook, and sipping a 20-ounce sweet tea while sitting in my Cracker Barrel rocking chair with the Gaither vocal band singing Jesus Saves on the stereo and a Gideon's Bible in my pocket. Yes, sir, I'm politically incorrect and happy as a June bug. Facebook has 10 rules for anyone who has posts a message like that, including no threats, bullying, or spam. So why was Todd Starnes blocked, you bully? What's going on what? with that? I'm a bad boy. <laughs> you were bullying. You were bullying liberals. Well, that's, that's, exa- that's exactly what I was what doing. What part was offensive to Facebook? Well, you know, that was the big problem, and I'm sort of perplexed because I reached out to Facebook and I said, well, did you have a problem with the NRA, with Jesus, or the plump, juicy chicken breast from Chick-fil-A? And they haven't responded yet. <laughs> so, so we don't right know. Now, so right now you are? Well, right now, we, they after after uh, they blocked us, a lot of our fans got involved, and Facebook eventually sent an apology uh, letter We have to that. Us. Let us read that. As our team processes hundreds of thousands of reports each week, we occasionally make a mistake. In this case, we mistakenly removed content from the Todd Starnes page and worked to rectify the mistake as soon as we were notified. In other words, they blamed it on a couple of low-level employees in their Cincinnati office. <laughs> what do you think of <laughs> what, what, yeah, right. what do you think of that? What was the thing that put them over, Todd? What do you what are you thinking? You know, it's hard to say because over the past year, uh, I've been monitoring a lot of these attacks on conservative Facebook pages. Uh, people have been getting blocked. Uh, many people can't even repost things from my site on their pages or they'll get in trouble. And last year, we did a story about a group called the Chicks on the Right, a couple of uh, conservative ladies out in Indianapolis. They were actually threatened uh, with their to shut down their entire site because of they dared to criticize the White House. So uh, it looks like the, uh, the folks at Facebook have a little problem with conservatives. You know, Facebook does not have a problem taking some questionable ads up until recently. Zuckerberg stepped in. But they were, they were advertising for some really racy stuff in there because it was cash in their pocket. Oh, yeah. And look, guys, I mean, there are plenty of just terrible sites on Facebook right now that disparage the conservatives, mm-hmm. whether they're political candidates or whether they're talk show hosts. These are Facebook's standards and practices. We have them here. They say that they're against hate speech. Yours was not. They're against violence and threats. Yours was not. Now, they are against nudity. Were you only wearing the NRA ball cap? That's a little, that's a little bit too probing. There were <laughs> there were no buck naked people on my site. Okay, all right, right. then. To the best Hard of my knowledge. So, uh, Eric, your verdict: Should he have been blocked? Yes or no? Absolutely the not. But I'm wondering if they are, if they have people specifically looking at what Todd Starnes is posting and say, "Hey, well, this one may let's interpret that one as violating yeah. one of our rules." Could be. Did Todd, you matter. <laughs> that's all. That, that's it. Thanks, guys. You matter to Facebook because <laughs> you're good enough and you're smart enough and doggone it, people like you. Talk. By golly. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so I'm motivated. All right. All right the president.